the Lord is good and that's an understatement I'm telling you he blew me away <laughs> I am in amazement okay please Lord align my will my heart the depths of my soul with yours and let the Holy Spirit lead me in what I'm about to reveal um, I have this story about this one friend of mine in my Roman days now I lived with the wildest of wilds the most violent <laughs> probably and I'm not bragging I don't want to come across as, a, as I'm bragging but I did live with quite a few um, people that had been in the meth scene for I mean some of them are still in it but they were in it since the 70s and 70s 80s 90s and there's some of them are still in it and I pray for them every day from the bottom of my heart because I know they're in pain I know that it's pain addiction is pain now so but that's just that's not that's not none of the the biggest part of the story okay that's just the little I had to to bring this in so that <clears throat> so I could bring the rest of it in um, okay um, when I was um, living with this friend of mine that occasionally would manufacture meth and um, his nick his nickname was Pandan okay he's no longer with us that's why I'm I'm sure he would be flattered to know that I'm speaking about him on YouTube but he he was a character he was a character and um, one day I remember uh, sitting at his table in his I mean my memory remembers exactly where it was at and he walked in and he says um, and he used to speak like um, he used to pretend that he had an Irish accent for some reason all the time and um, he said um, angels Velma they aren't always nice you know and I can't even do I can't even do his accent but it didn't even phase me until maybe God just revealed to me it was quite a time later 30 30 minutes to an hour later um, that it sunk in what he had said you know and then he died maybe two years later in prison of um, cancer of his um, I can't remember if his spleen or I don't know I don't remember but he died of cancer and oh, may he rest in peace um, he had been a very violent criminal uh, in his earlier years and he mellowed out and I I remember asking him one day you know what what made you stop being so mean I mean I just sensed that you used to really be violent and he looked at me and he says oh well Velma, I think you know him. I, I think you might know him. Um, you know, they call him they call him Jesus. I think you know what I'm talking about. And I can't do that accent, but yeah, I was like, oh, wow. You know, I couldn't believe he said that. And this was way before I came to the light. Um, of course, I always knew that no one would ever convince me that Jesus hadn't, you know, died on the cross. I always knew that. Um, and that's a blessing but I wasn't at all living obediently at the time so anyway one night we were at my this was many many years before Pandan had even said this to me and um, we were in the alley of one of our friends house living in I was living in the back of my friends pickup we were I was in a really bad state then that was probably my lowest state I had lost everything twice and um, this was the second time we lost everything and I was living in the back of my ex's pickup and I just didn't even want to get out I had gained all kinds of weight it was just a mess I was a mess but anyway one night we we're in the back of the alley and I fell asleep and I remember that it was like a blackout sleep like something weird happened in the back in that alleyway that night and the next morning when I woke up I didn't think anything of it and my ex who was in the front seat of the pickup had black eyes okay somebody had reached in to the front of the pickup and beat him up pulverized him literally and he didn't wake up 
until the next morning. It was like we were in a complete blackout zone. It was strange. And so anyway, a few weeks or so go by and I run into Pandan and at another friend's house and he says, um, oh, Velma knows what happened in the alleyway that night. And I said, I looked at him and he had this, just this smug grin on his face. And I thought, what? He's right, something weird happened that night. Nobody could explain it. Um, things were just out of sync. And I'm telling you, I was, I literally, it was like when you can't see your hand in front of your face, that's what it was like in my dream, if that's what state I was in. Anyway, today as I was walking to the store, Yeshua tells me that when angels fall, okay, evil will completely overrun that part and that area in which they fall. So he was telling me that that night that happened and my friend got pulverized and he said that happened within miles and miles of radius of where that angel fell. There was an angel that fell in that area. Okay, praise, praise Yeshua, praise the Lord. I, and, he, and I'm telling you, let me tell you the situation that I have been in in the last three days I have been just brutally in pain in my head okay it, and Yeshua told me that I had to lie down I had to lie down so I lied I laid down all day and then I didn't go to work the next day and I am not a person who likes to be inside my house all day long but I had to be obedient he told me I needed to be obedient well it was really hard coming out of the house today and getting adjusted to work again and I was just felt like I was in a phase and I'm gonna tell you something I finally said, you know what? I don't have to put up with this, okay? Because I was whining inside my heart. My heart was whining. Oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to be, um, you know, have Yeshua in my heart and look how, look what's happening to me. How, how come I feel this way? And the minute that I stood up and I said, I will not stand for this in the name of Yeshua, be gone. Okay, and I said it from the depths from my heart and it was over like that. It was over like that. So it took a little while. There was residual. That's what I call it, residual. Um, it took, you know, a little while after that, but on my way walking, because I told, I asked Yeshua, I said, should I go do laundry? It'll help me feel better after I got out of work. And so when I was walking to Allsup's to get a Coke, that's when he dropped this on me and he wanted me to share this immediately with people. Now, what happens is, I said, well, what about the obedient, your obedient servants? And he says, well, Velma, there are very few obedient servants. Now, what they did with me that night was they shielded me from actually seeing anything happen because there's, uh, when they fall, you know, you can imagine a, a falling, a shooting star when it falls. Um, it's like that. But when that happens, evil will just will just wreak havoc within within um, the humans within miles and miles radius. And how that helps anybody, I hope and pray that it helps people uh, understand or overstand um, situations that they may have been in that happen like that. Sometimes you see that on TV, and they don't tell you that they're not they're never going to tell you that it's a fallen one because they're working for the fallen ones, okay? Discovery Channel, uh, CNN, you know, you name it. The Rothschilds own it, and the Rothschilds sup with the fallen ones. And if and they some even say they, they sup with Lucifer himself. So, you know, believe it or not, but I'm telling you, I know this is the truth because another thing that the Lord revealed to me about my friend Pandan, and his nickname comes from the Panhead motorcycle. Okay, he used to own many of them in his back before I met him. He was pretty mellow when I met him. So I was I was graced with that blessing actually that many of them were mellow by the time I came into that scene. Um, but anyway, um, 
Yeshua told me that that Pandan had had been hemmed up by the fallen ones um, a couple or three times, um, and he saw what happened that night. That's why he said that to me. Now, Pandan never told me that. Yeshua told me that. So all praise and glory to the Most High. Um, um, let's not put our our emphasis on the fallen ones. Let's put our emphasis into Yeshua so he can teach us what we need to know about the fallen ones and their deceiving, lying, cheating father, the father of lies. So, amen. Hallelujah to Yeshua.